welcome back guys this is question 3.5 which we have discussed in our previous video and i have explained that what is will be the essence of the concepts which will be used here okay so i have to determine the value of c so that each of the following functions can serve as a probability distribution of the discrete random variable x okay so let me first solve part a of this question and here the value of fx is what this is c x square plus 4 okay for all the values which are given here okay so what is basically this so here let me connect this one with the previously illustrated concepts okay so here i have f of x and uh, this is let me have the values of x here and all the values ranges from 0 1 2 3 okay so what are these values these are all the values which have been mentioned here okay and this is what this is f of x so if i will draw something here let me have some uh, random distribution here 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 and here for all the values of this x i have to see that all these values this 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 and this this is a b c d okay. so a plus b plus c plus d this should give me one because this in this way this will be the probability distribution okay so in order to do so let me have here the formula which is f of x equal to c x square plus 4 okay and all the values here ranges from 0 to 3 so therefore i have to write here what i have to write here x equal x equal to 0 up to x equal 3 and here this would be c x square plus 4 okay. or let me expand it what i will get here i will get here uh, c let me start it from 0 so it will be 0 square plus 4 okay then plus c and then i have to write x after 0 i have to write here 1 so here it will be 1 square plus 4 plus c here now 2 2 square plus 4 okay and the last one here would be 3 square plus 4 okay and this should be equal to 1 in order to satisfy that it will be the probability distribution and the same concept is illustrated here what we have explained explained here so uh, let me expand it further so by writing it here i will get 4c here here 1 1 plus 5 this will be 5c okay here 2 2 4 4 plus 4 8 here 8c plus here it would be 9 9 plus 4 is 13 so here 13c would be equal to 1 okay so now add them all together so it will be 9 9 plus 18 is 7 8 is 17 17 plus 13 is 30 so here i will get 30 c which is equal to 1 which will ultimately give me the value which is c equal to 1 by 30 and that is basically the solution of part a of my question okay? so this is what this is the solution of part a let me expand it to the part b here so let me first remove all these things so in part b the equation is just like here okay this uh, starts from zero and ends up to two so let me solve it in solving it what i have to do here it will be f of x is equal to c 2x okay and 3 3 minus x so as it is starting from 0 and ending up to 2 and these values corresponds with this x so therefore i have to write here x starts from 0 and and ends at 2 okay so the same probability distribution if i want to make it a probability distribution what i have to do i have to make this summation equal to 1 
So this summation should be equal to 1 because now I am summing all these things and previously I have told you that in probability distribution all the probabilities uh, or the curves should end up in addition of 1. Okay? So let me expand it and in expanding it let me first take the C out. Okay? This C is now common in between all of them. So let me try it and uh, let me start it from 0. So it will be 2, 0. Okay, 3, 3 minus 0 is 3, so it will be here. Okay, now similarly plus 2, now for 1, I will have here 1, and here 3, div 3 and choices are 3 minus 1, so 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, and plus, now here I have two, 2 choices, 2, and here 3, 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, so this and this must be equal to 1. Okay, so now let, now let me solve it and what I will get here this 2 0 is how much that is 2 factorial divided by uh, 0 factorial and similarly 2 minus 0 which is 2 factorial because this is the formula for the combinations. Similarly, multiplying it with this one, so this would be 3 factorial divided by this 3 factorial and then 3 minus 3 factorial, so it would be 0 factorial and similarly here 2 factorial divided by this 1 factorial, okay, and now 2 minus 1 is 1 factorial. I have been doing it because I know the formula for the A choice B and this is what this should be A factorial divided by the B factorial div whole divided by A minus B whole factorial. Okay, So, I have been using this formula. Similarly, here I have to use 3 factorial divided by the 2 factorial and then 3 minus 2 is 1 factorial plus this 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial multiplying it with the 0 factorial because 2 minus 2 is 0 and uh, here multiplying it with the 3 factorial divided by 1 factorial 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial okay and this must give me 1 here okay. so now let me uh, carry it out so this will be cancelled out with this one this will be here with this one okay this will be here with this one this one here okay and uh, from it what i will get let me do it here so c and here 0 factorial is 1 so here this all will give me 1 plus this is the 3 factorial 3 factorial is uh, 3 into 2 that is 6 6 divided by 1 is 6 Okay. Similarly here, this is 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So, 3 factorial is 6, 6 divided by 2 is again 3 multiplied by this 1. So, here I will get 3 and this must be equal to 1 and ultimately it will give me 3 plus 1 plus uh, 6 that is 10 C which is equal to 1 and ultimately the value of C will be 1 by 10 and that is what that is the solution of part b of my question 3.5 okay so i hope you have understood the essence of the probability distributions that whatever the limit is all the individual curves should give me what or all the individual probabilities uh, when summed together will give me one okay so the same uh, concept has been illustrated here that when these are summed together it will give me one and that is what i have explained here so that's it for today if you have any, if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon